at an attempt to offer a sufficiently high quality, solid and inexpensive car for its class, Mitsubishi received a friendly response from buyers. Why not? Daring in appearance, practical, with a large interior and two pedals. Yes, and with the manners of an SUV, equipped, moreover, with atmospheric engines. There were three engines. Gasoline, Force, 2.0, 146 horsepower, and 2.4, 167 horsepower, are famous for their reliable and durable timing chain drive. Chain replacement is usually carried out at a run well over 200,000 kilometers. With regular maintenance, the 4 is so reliable that the manufacturer does not even consider it necessary to produce repair kits and accessories for them. If anything, the units are changed entirely, without particularly bothering with boring. The 230 horsepower V6 petrol is an even more enviable option, even despite the timing belt drive, which needs to be replaced every 90,000 kilometers, less dangerous. But in any case, on the secondary, the V6 looks preferable to the force only thanks to the automatic transmission. The younger engines were equipped with Jatco CVTs, which not everyone managed to get along with. Maybe that's where the abundance of offers comes from. Too many buts arise in operation, and still the resource of the variator does not exceed 150,000 kilometers, a maximum of 200,000, if you're lucky with the driver. CVT repaired at a dealer may require 300,000 rubles, in a garage, 100,000. New, prepare half a million. CVT, diet, reject spurt from traffic lights, towing, conquest of curbs and off-road. CVTs are heated in winter and cooled down in summer. By the way, the manufacturer offered a separate radiator for the variator only in 2014. It can be seen that a wave of complaints about overheating has overcome dealers. So it's easier to put up with the high fuel consumption of a V6 than to plunge into a batty CVT. But the all-wheel drive system works properly. If you do not forget to change the oil in the rear axle gearbox every 120,000 kilometers. In fact, the crossover has few frankly weak points. Before restyling, this is soundproofing. After the update, the interior of the car has become much quieter. Weak and thin paintwork is compensated by high-quality metal, which rusts reluctantly. There are many complaints about the windshield, fragile, easily pricked and costs under 70,000 rubles. But the Chinese counterpart for 20,000 rubles, by the way, is more resistant to pebbles, noticeably muffled the severity of the problem. Many of the whims of Outlander owners relate to the quality of interior trim materials and ergonomics. Say, any touch of plastic with a watch, a ring, and sometimes just a fingernail leaves traces, untidy. The pseudo-leather of the seats is not very durable and stretches, and the leather in the top versions is durable, but too hard and rough. The crossover is really not perfect. Not all buttons are illuminated at night, it can be difficult to interact with the media system. The rear sofa resembles a bench in the yard for convenience. But Outlander is just good at compromises. Its cost atones for minor flaws, and the crossover rides very solidly, more expensive than the money paid. There are practically no claims to the energy-intensive suspension. Racks go more than 80,000 kilometers, and the most frequent replacement, as elsewhere, is the front stabilizer struts. Their term is no more than 40,000 kilometers. When buying a car, in addition to carefully studying the health of the variator, if there is one, you should pay attention to the operation of the steering. Replacing the rack is an expensive and troublesome story. There are no special contraindications on the part of electricians. The margin of safety of wiring and contacts is fair. The only thing that ETAX was buggy on early models was a small but important box called the Electronic Total Automobile Control System. The symptoms were different, either the dip beam would turn on spontaneously, or the radiator fan. The box was later repaired. So you can take transmission. The first sign of variator ailments will be a metallic knock during acceleration. And at high speeds, the car will roar the engine to no avail. In order not to get to replace the variator, 5,000, and by no means rubles, we recommend checking the color of the oil more often. A greenish tint means the oil is still fresh. Brown indicates that the fluid has been changed for a long time and it's time to refresh it. Engine. The chain on the force serves about 300,000 kilometers, and replacing it is a complicated procedure, in which you need to disassemble almost the entire engine. It will cost more than 70,000 rubles. Of the minor troubles, one can note the loss of tightness of the cooling radiator and the squeak of the generator even at low loads. 
By the way, both forests easily digest AI-92, but it is contraindicated for V6. Suspension. The rear shock absorbers serve up to 60,000 kilometers, the front ones a little longer, up to 80,000 kilometers. Next, how to ride. Other suspension elements are ready to go up to 80 to 100,000 kilometers. The life of brake pads is standard, 30 to 40,000 kilometers, discs, 60 to 70,000 kilometers. When replacing the pads, the caliper guides must be lubricated, otherwise the brakes may wedge over time. Body. Chips and cracks on the windshield occur from even a small pebble. Therefore, do not even think about overtaking someone on primers or a grader. The metal under the chips on the body begins to oxidize after three to four years, which, however, does not lead to serious consequences. The problems of the aerodynamics of the body include the fact that mud completely fills the side windows into the slush, worsening visibility. Electrician. The way to eliminate the glitches of the ETAX electric control unit is simple. Remove the fuse of the enraged node and go to the service. Otherwise, the electrical health of the outlander is in relative order. Let us down, perhaps, the radio sensitivity of some elements and a number of misunderstandings with the climate system.